done, how you love that? The modern music video is becoming more and more magnificent. I'm about to call a paparazzi on myself. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 decade-defining music videos of the 2010s so far. But if God got us, then we go be alright. For this list, we've ranked the most popular, most iconic music videos, and those that best represent the 2010s in general. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. There are no criteria limitations in terms of genre, although only one video per act is allowed. Bang, bang, bang. This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades from the 1980s and beyond. Number 10, Uptown Funk, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars' music videos really are from another planet. The accompaniment to Locked Out of Heaven is vintage style grainy gold. But the Uptown Funk short film is probably the slickest thing since sliced bread. Wait a minute, fill my cup, put some nigga in it. Check. From Rockstar Shades to a Salmon Pink Jacket, it's fun, fashionable, and a fairly accurate representation of exactly what's trendy in the 2010s. Even Mars's dance moves are decade-defining. Mark Ronson's role only adds to the awesomeness, and frankly, there's likely never been a music video cast that's this damn cool. Ah! Number 9. Happy, Pharrell Williams. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. If you're not smiling at least a little bit by the end of our next video, then you must be having a very bad day. A short film as infectious as the song's sing-along lyrics, it's built around everyday people with some celeb cameos, dancing everyday dance moves, and generally loving life. What's not to like? But the best thing of all? The official edit is made up of various moments taken from a mammoth 24-hour version of the film. That was a hell of a happy day. Number 8. We Found Love. Rihanna featuring Calvin Harris. One of the most controversial music videos of its time, We Found Love was shot in Northern Ireland and boasts a typically British edginess. A hotly anticipated clip even before its release, it attracted worldwide media attention after filming permissions were withdrawn by a local farmer, who also reportedly advised Rihanna to be acquainted with God after offense was taken over the singer's significant state of undress. Riri's clothing choices caused a stir upon release as well, as did the film's allusions toward domestic violence. Still won a Grammy though. Number 7. Runaway. Kanye West featuring Pusha T. And I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong. Kanye West's collaboration with Jay-Z on Otis would have featured today. I guess I got my swagger back. Truth. Were it not for Runaway, there are very few videos ever to match this effort in terms of scope, let alone during just the 2010s. Ballet has rarely looked better, nor felt more mesmerizing. Whatever your opinion on the controversial star, Kanye nailed it in this clip. Run away from me, baby. Run away. The basis to a 35-minute musical short film, there's a long and short version to the video, and both are well worth taking the time to watch. Maybe I got a plan. 
Run away fast as you can Greetings, love. Number six, California Girls, Katy Perry featuring Snoop Dogg. I know a place where the grass is really greener. If you've ever wondered what a dentist's nightmare looks like, then this is it. You could travel the world, but nothing comes close to the golden coast. In this Katy Perry decade definer, the U.S. state of California is affectionately nay. Confectionately rebranded as the sweeter sounding Candy Fornia, and it's a place where everyone's happy. Snoop Dogg plays the sugar daddy villain, while Perry plays the leader of the ladies trying to defeat him. The candy slash cupcake look is now classic Katy Perry, and the purple wig slash candy floss footage is arguably her most iconic moment of all. Number 5. Chandelier. See ya. A standout record for Sia, center stage for the Chandelier video, however, is taken by another, until then, less high profile personality. Maddie Ziegler might have been a household name for anybody watching the reality TV show Dance Moms, but for anyone else, this unbelievable routine is likely the first point of reference. And what a point of reference it is! It's basically impossible to stop watching, as Ziegler performs with an emotional range and maturity way beyond her 11 years at the time of filming. What a talent. Number 4. Somebody that I used to know. Gautier featuring Kimbra. Now and then I think of when we were together. In terms of instantly recognizable music videos of the 2010s, this is probably the best example. You can get addicted to a certain kind of sadness. A brutally beautiful breakup song, both Gautier and Kimbra artistically feature in the film, which won over critics with its intimacy. Directed by Natasha Pincus and featuring the artwork of Howard Clark and the skin illustrative skills of Emma Hack, it looks simple and it is unique. But there was a huge amount of work needed to nail this. It almost took 24 hours to body paint Gautier and Kimbra, but as they say, genius takes time. Number 3. Blurred Lines. Robin Thicke featuring T.I. and Pharrell Williams. If you can't hear what I'm to say. Arguably the most controversial video of the decade, the problem many critics had with Blurred Lines was ironically clear. In the short film, frontman Robin Thicke is joined by T.I. and Pharrell, as the men, in the view of their critics, misogynize their way through the song's entirety, alongside a trio of female models wearing nothing much at all. And for the video's unrated cut, they're wearing even less. With over 400 million YouTube views for the clean version though, like it or loathe it, Blurred Lines defines the times. Must wanna get nasty. Hey! Number 2. Wrecking Ball. Miley Cyrus. We called 
we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. Another video famous in part because of what its subject is or isn't wearing, when Miley Cyrus released Wrecking Ball, she was mid snowball in terms of her own spiraling superstardom. I came in like a wreck. The singer seemed desperate to shatter Hannah Montana Disney child star labels, and by riding an eponymous wrecking ball naked, she went a fair way toward doing that. All I wanted was to break your walls. All you ever did was break me. Part of the short film nods towards Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You, but really, nothing compares to it. Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you It's a hard on sleeve performance only there's not a sleeve in sight Yeah you you had me Before we reveal our top pick here are a few honorable mentions As of the late 2000s and throughout the 2010s, a music video only really makes it big if and when it goes viral, and Gangnam Style certainly did that. With over 2 billion YouTube views, it smashed all previous world records and established itself as the defining video of its time. Size balance between suiting up and getting down took the whole world by storm. So put your bow tie on and go bananas because sometimes it's just the best possible idea. So, do you agree with our list? Which video did we forget? For more air exploring top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.